Hello, class. We're done with superposition and source transformation. Now we'll go to um, Thevenin's theorem. It often occurs in practice that a particular element in a circuit um, is variable. So mag vary vale. Usually, this is called a load. Ang load ni mo may mag vary. While other elements are fixed. Ang example ana kay ang ato ang household outlet terminal, di ba? Fixed ang naa sa ang nasa sulod bale, atong circuit na to sa, bal, sa atong balay. Pero atong terminal na atong outlet, it can be connected to different appliances. So nagpasabot variable ang load, no? And each time the variable element is changed, the entire circuit has to be analyzed all over again. Now, aron nga mapasayon ni to avoid this problem, we have Thevenin's theorem. Thevenin's theorem provides a technique by which the fixed part of the circuit is replaced by an equivalent circuit. Thevenin's theorem states that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source VTH in series with a resistor RTH, where VTH is the open circuit voltage at the terminals and RTH is the input or equivalent resistance at the terminals when the independent sources are turned off. So, bale, according to Thevenin's theorem, this kining linear circuit na to can be replaced by this one. And this is known as the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So, tanawa ako. Kine, mob kung sa outlet, sa ato pa rin balay, kine yung diri ah, ang kine, muna sa atong outlet. Kine ka tong, di na to makita ba rin ang circuit, muna siya. And ka to, can be replaced by this. Kine muna na yun yung atong load, isa kung saan atong A. So, bali, ang kine, muna yung fixed part na to, it can be replaced by this. So, ayos kaya na, ayos kaya siya, no? Okay. Let's say, complex na siya, then, kung mag-analyze ka sa imuhang, let's say, sa imuhang current ba, going through this load, kung, di, kung wala tayo nga, kung wala tayo sa evidence theorem, na ma-permente ta o analyze at, at different loads, niya, complex pa gini. So, may itong kini, na-simplify na siya, then we can, sa uh, later, makita na ito, na, kung ma-simplify na na ito, then we can easily um, compute na dayan. Um, for example, sa ito ang um, load current. So, um, isa na sa benefit sa ato ang ano, Thevenin's theorem. Ang pangunta na din ka ron, how can we find VTH and RTH? VTH is just equal to the open circuit voltage, money VOC. That is the no load um, circuit, uh, voltage. Ibali, walay load mag connect dira sa imuhan terminal AB. So, mo na si VTH. Si RTH po, mo ang imong input resistance at the terminals when the independent sources are turned off. As seen sa imuhang terminal AB. So, dari. To apply this idea in finding the 7 in resistance, we need to consider two cases. First case is no dependent sources. So, kung ingan naman ganing, then we can simply turn off all independent sources. Okay, di ba? No, um, ang dari up para sa RTH, ang independent sources kay set to zero man. Ito pa. Kung ingan nga wala kay dependent sources, so just immediately turn off all independent sources and RTH is just shown katong sa galina rin hapon. Second case is kung nanatay dependent sources sa ito ang circuit. Now, kung ingan eh, more happen, we still turn off all independent sources, but not the dependent sources because they are controlled by circuit variables. Paghuman, we apply a voltage source V sub O. Okay, eh. okay wala mang good kay um, independent sources dari ana, kay gikil man na ito. Ang kinalan taan eh, in order to excite 
ang ato ang circuit. So, we apply a voltage source V sub O at terminals AB and determine the resulting current I sub O. Then, kung ma-determine ma na ito, di ba, at kita mo nag-determine anong kay V sub O. Then, kung ma-determine na din ito si I sub O, then si RTH is just V sub O, nga ato ang gi-determine, ato ang gi-set, divided by I sub O, ato ato ang gi-solve. So, in that way, ma-solve po na ito si RTH. Or, kung dili mo gusto o um, voltage source in yung insert, lantaw ninyo kay mas convenient kung current source, mas mapadali bali mong solve kung current source in yung i-insert. Pwede rin hapon. So, you insert a um, current source I sub O, Tapos, so, kamo may nag-set nag, nag kay I sub O, then sobon din ninyo si V sub O. So, in that way, masolve po di hapon, still si RTH equal to V sub O over I sub O. So, unsa man, ang usually ang ginagamit ani for V sub O and I sub O kay 1 volt or 1 ampere, kay para sa ra. Now, another thing to note is that ang RTH na to, it can be negative. Okay, gikan sa ito ang V equal to negative IR, di ba? Naman itong uh, for, na form na ito. Nag, nagpasabot na siya nga uh, the circuit is supplying power. Now, once the equivalent circuit is determined, kibali kini si linear circuit, na-reduce na ito, ani, nakuha na ito yung sabi ng equivalent circuit, then the load current, IL, and the voltage, uh, load voltage, can simply be solved using this expression. IL is just ang ito ang kandari. Um, sini? Ang CVTH divided by ang sum. Okay? So, ang kining credit ito dara. Ah. So, just the source divided by the total resistance. And si VL, ang katong, ato ang voltage dari across atong load is just RL times IL. Example ta. Find the expression of the current through RL. Okay, okay. Na, kaman tayo mo yung variable resistor man. Okay. So, una, let's find RTH. So, ang saka ito, basta mangita ata kay RTH, we kill all the independent sources. So, para ana, kung ato na yung pat yun si voltage source, so, mga nang ma short ra. If you kill this, ma-open ra. Okay. So, ito pa, narating yan. So, now the um, equivalent resistance as seen sa mga terminals AB will just be 4 parallel naman eh. 4 parallel 12 plus 1. Kamo na na. RTH is equal to 4 ohms. So, nakakita naman ito kay RTH. Kinala naman po na ito pangita ang CVTH. And VTH is the open circuit voltage. So, kung kini, wala. Hindi siya. Ito yung wala. Oh, so, mananan na ito. Dali. And, kung mag-KCL ta, on, on this node, so, ang sama na siya. Diba, um, assuming nga, uh, ito ang current pasulod, and kini siya pagawas, and kini, given naman ang pasulod. So, that would be, Ang current nga kini pasulod is equal to 32 minus VTH. Okay. Kaya nga nung si VTH naman ni Dari, ah, kaya wala biya ni current kaning agi Dari. So sa to pa, si VTH, ang equal ga po na ni. Kini Dari, ah, equal po ni siya Dari na nung. Okay. So 32 minus VTH divided by 4. So muna ato ang current ng agi Dari. And ang kini na po na current, that is VTH um, over 12 minus tungod kay pagawas man siya. Ang kinipasulod man, so plus 2. So, so lang, right? So, VTH is equal to 30 volts. Ang pasabot, ang uh, ang expression for IL will be ang source the uh, VTH, 30 divided by ang uh, ang total resistance. That is 4 plus RN. So, taman, let's say si RL is equal to 2, then IL is equal to 30 divided by 6, so that's 5. Okay. Kung si RL pod ka equal to 6, so 6 plus 4, that's 10. 30 divided by 10, that's 3. Okay. So, muna bali niya ito expression. 
para sa ato ang current through RL. Another. Kini, ay ganina, wala man to'y, na, wala man to'y um, dependent sources. Karon try na to ka ng naay dependent source. Still, let's find RTH. Mag hapon, we kill all the independent sources. Tapos, we insert ang V sub O to excite the circuit. Mama ni ato ang independent, so that will be open circuited lang. Okay. So, bali, mawala rin na. So, mga itong wala na rin na part. Then, we apply mesh analysis na yan. KVL on loop 1. So, we have negative 2VX plus 2I1 minus I2. And that's equal to 0. So, can, uh, operate, manipulate lang mo. So, that would be I1 plus 3I2 equal to 0. KVL on loop 2 or mesh 2. So, kana 4... 4i2 plus 2i2 minus i1 plus 6i2 minus i3. And that's equal to 0. Or pwede po din yung uh, um, 4i2 plus I don't know, um, 4 plus 2 plus 6. So 12i2. Tapos ang kine minus 2i1 minus 6i3. Ano, if it's on ninyo, pwede po na. Then, manipulate lang. So, natay I2 equal to I3 over 3. On mesh 3, we have 1 plus 8 I3 minus 6 I2. Okay. So, manipulate ya po. Then, we have I3 equal to negative 1 over 6. And as you can see, I3 is just equal to negative I0. Ang pasabot, si IO is equal to 1.6. Ay, 1, 1 over 6. And di ba, si RTH is just equal to V sub O over I sub O. And V sub O, ato naman lang giset. So that's 1. Divided by I sub O, nga nasolve na to here. So that would be 1 over 6. Hence, RTH is equal to 6 ohms. So, nasolve na nato sa si RTH, dito na po kay VTH, which is R, which is equal to our open circuit voltage. Diba? Uh, tapos, by inspection, lantaw na ito dali, uh, I1 is equal to 5 amperes. Tapos, ang sapalain, um, kini si VX. VX is equal to 4 times ang current na ni Aginia. Plus, minus, so to pa, I1 minus I2 equal to 20 minus, kasi I1 kay 5 man. So, substitute na natong 5. So, that's why we have 20 minus 4 I2. So, let's have this as our equation 1. Then, KVL sa mesh 2. So, we have 4 plus 2 plus 6. So, that's why natay 12 I2 tapos minus 4 I1 minus 2i3, then eventually we have this second equation. Tapos, KVL at mesh 3, so natin negative 2vx plus 2i3 minus i2 equal to 0. So we have vx equal to i3 minus i2. Para nang eliminate ang, ang 2. Ang negative 2 din. So, mga natin third equation. Then, so natin to look equations now. So from equation 1 and 3, so equation 1, mga man eh, Vx equal to 20 minus 4i2. So equation 3, mga man eh, Vx equal to i3 minus i2. So equate na to. May mo na dahil 20 minus 4i2 equal to i3 minus i2. So nanantaan eh. This will be our equation 4. Tapos, kung ito po ng tawon, si I2, ay si equation 2 kay in terms of I2 and I3. Si equation 4 na ito, mapod, I2, I3. Sa so, ito pa, ma-eliminate na dahil na ito. Negative man yung kine, then positive ni dali. So, add na ito dito. So, that's why we have 9I2 equal to 
um, 30. And divide lang na to, reduce lang na to, so natay 10 over 3. Then, since si, di ba, wala man tay current na maagi dari, so wala na. Um, ang ato ang VOC is kinindari. That is si I2 times 6. Okay, so man ang VOC is equal to 6 I2 equal to 20. So that's why our VTH na is equal to 20 volts. So ganina, na solve na to si RTH which is equal to 6 ohms karon si VTH is equal to 20 volts. Pasabot, ang ato ang um, ang ato ang kine na uh, original circuit ang ihang 7 in equivalent is this one. And that's it. Thank you for listening. Next time we'll discuss Norton's theorem.